Hey, what's going on? This is Ben from PhotoshopActionScripts.com and in this video I'm going to show you one of our uh, software box Photoshop Action Scripts that you get when you uh, purchase the entire package at PhotoshopActionScripts.com I've already got those installed on my uh, computer right now so I'm in Photoshop CS5 I believe right now and they work all the way up with CS6 but I'm going to go ahead and go to Window and then Actions which I've already got open here and I'm going to do this drop down menu and I'm going to select this software box number two and then press play okay let me hit stop and uh, this is where I'm going to paste my uh, cover on top of as you can say or I'm sorry as you can see this specific action has three sides it's got the front it's got the spine or the side of the box and it's also got the top flap on the box so for this example um, I didn't want to make one from scratch so I'm just going to use this Norton antivirus 2006 that I found on Google images just for an example so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chunk this out um, one good thing when you're doing it when you're doing your own cover you'll have all your layers open so it's a lot easier to work with this one's just going to be flat images so I'm just going to kind of work my way around it but like I said this is just an example I'm just showing you how the action itself works, not necessarily how to design an action. So anyway, I put the front cover in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do the select tool. I'm going to set it right here in the corner, and I'm going to press Control T, or you can go to Edit, and then down to Free Transform. And then what I'm going to do, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to drag this down to the bottom corner. Okay, then I'm going to apply the transformation right there. And one trick that I like to do for the side is I actually like to just, if it's a solid color that is, or if, if uh, there's nothing touching the edge so that you can actually just grab this little piece right here and stretch it. So say if I layer via copy, control T, and I'm just going to stretch this left side all the way across. Okay. The only reason I'm doing that is because if you notice this software box is really thick right here on this edge, and this one is really skinny. So, um... Actually, what I'm also going to do, just to make it a lot simpler, I'm going to go ahead and copy I'm going to Copy from here. Let me go back to this layer right here, the first one I did, and I'm going to copy where it says Norton Antivirus 2006, right-click, layer via copy, edit transform, and I'm going to rotate it 180, or I'm sorry, I'm going to rotate it, uh, let's do counterclockwise 90 degrees, okay? So now I'm just going to move that over to here move that layer above the other layer and now I've got the side okay and then you can do the same kind of thing um, same thing for the top if you like so what I'm going to do just to uh, make it even simpler I'm going to click auto select okay, I'm going to click on this layer right here layer fill layer solid color okay then I'm just going to do, do that one it's a software box text that needs to go. You can uh, just hit the little eyeball right there to make it disappear. Photoshop action scripts that needs to go. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this again. I could just re rotate this, but I'm just going to go on this layer, copy it again. Let it be a copy. And I'm just going to slide it up over here. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Now this is just a very basic example, but I just wanted to get something on here so I can show you how the action itself works. So after you're fully satisfied with what you have here, go to step two and then press play and then hit continue. Now this is the process where it's actually going to turn your flat graphic into a 3D e-cover, which is really awesome. Uh, it usually takes about 30 seconds to a couple minutes. It all just depends on which action script you're running and how fast your computer is. So I'll go ahead and let that run. Okay, now it's all done. You just click on stop. And as you can see, it looks like a really awesome, realistic looking e cover. But uh, one problem is that it's really huge. Because you see, right now we're showing 20% of the actual size. If you were to go to 100, it's just insanely huge, which we don't need. Um, the reason for that is because these are 300 DPI action scripts and you can make it as big as you want. Uh, it all, the resolution is all going to depend on the, the original image that you're working with because we're going to, um, obviously this is going to be distorted with the image I started with, but when we shrink it back down the resolution should all come back into place. So let's go to image, 
image size. Make sure the constraint proportions is checked. And then instead of 3700 width, I'm going to drop that down to 600. Hit OK. And now we have a manageable E cover. Um, the last step that I always do is I turn off this background image, uh, make it transparent or, or not visible, and then right click in one of these other layers up here and then click on Merge Visible. That's going to merge all those other layers so that now you have just the E cover with everything ready to go and you can do whatever you want with. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to check out PhotoshopActionScripts.com to check out the other 49 e-cover scripts that we have. We have a whole lot of them. I really think you'll like it. So check those out. Thanks for watching this tutorial video, and I'll talk to you soon.